I am with Knights head baseball coach Gary Puccio, whose squad dropped a seven straight decision yesterday to Manhattan College, nine to one. Uh, the Knights led one nothing after five and a half innings, thanks to Michael Eliason, a gem as he pitched five innings, giving up only five hits and striking out six while walking none. Um, coach, this has been the third straight game where your squad's only scored one run and have had has had one bad inning where everything's kind of fallen apart. Do you have any? Idea, any reason or explanation as to why this has been occurring? Yeah, you know, part of it is we run out of pitching, obviously. Mike, I told Mike he's a Sunday starting pitcher. He's that fourth starting pitcher in the league all the time. So we kind of told Mike he was going to be on pitch count, 75 pitches. He told him to be four or five innings. It turned out to be five. He pitched outstanding, no walk, six strikeouts. He did a great job. Um, unfortunately, then the bullpen lets us down a little bit, and we keep making some mental mistakes that are not helping us either. Uh, the shortage of pitching is definitely an issue, but uh, the mental mistakes which lead to these one big innings, that we, have, that we can work on and that we're going to work on. Hopefully, it'll change sooner rather than later. They have played very competitively. I mean, if these games were six inning games, we'd be in great shape, but unfortunately, they're not. So, we, we've had leads, we've been tied, I think five of the last seven games we've either been tied or had to lead going into the seventh inning. So that says something, but again, you know, everyone knew at the start of the season we have a shortage of players and pitchers. We have 19 kids on the whole roster. And unfortunately, that handicaps your moves a lot. So some of the moves are not made with the idea of this is